Hi, um, my name is Leon Bian. I'm the project lead for uh, Reels. Uh, Reels is a blockchain-based social media platform for user-generated content. Well, you know, I'm showing you this picture. You know, our favorite uh, CEO, Mark. Um, there, the problems we were trying to address uh, is pretty obvious here. First, there's too much concentration of power among major uh, internet giants like YouTube and uh, Facebook that they dictate the rules of playing field for user-generated content. Uh, they dictate the pricing, they dictate what kind of content uh, you can upload to their platforms. Second, their uh, business model is uh, simply you know, selling yours or my private information. So uh, that problem is not gonna go away as long as their ad-driven model uh, still exists. And finally, there's a lot of fake content uh, in the marketplace. So the solution is a decentralized uh, platform called Reels. So we are building a blockchain called Reels Chain. Uh, it's completely community uh, managed without central authority. Uh, we do not sell uh, your private information because that's not our business model. Our business model is peer to peer. And then finally, um, we have implemented a content validation system uh, to dig out the truth, the true value of the UGC content. Now, this is worth mentioning because we believe this is where we differentiate from other, other social media platforms that's also blockchain based. Uh, basically, you, know, you upload a piece of content and then a curator, um, a, a curator uh, you know, initiate the content validation process and then uh, any consumer, any viewer in the market uh, in, on the community uh, could uh, uh, vote, right? But the, the key is they have to vote with stakes. So essentially, they have to put in some tokens in order uh, to vote. So if they vote responsibly, uh, they could, uh, if they vote responsibly, they could earn tokens. If they don't vote responsibly, then they might lose tokens. And the result will be recorded on the Reels chain, uh, which is a blockchain permanently. Uh, so, so this creates a lot of different uh, monetization, uh, you know, in P P2P format, content licensing, e-commerce, tipping and sponsorship, and crowdfunding. Uh, we thrive uh, on partnerships. So uh, we are in talks to uh, a lot of uh, different players from OEMs to uh, technology partners and content partners to help us distribute uh, our platform. Uh, these are the competitive landscape. We believe that we have a, a solution that's actually uh, stand out uh, in the marketplace among similar players. And uh, our milestone is we are going to uh, do public uh, beta launch uh, in the second half of this year. We have a very strong international team with lots of expertise uh, from uh, mobile technology to blockchain to uh, security and to social media. So uh, with that, uh, do you have any questions? Just want to question the content validation. Uh, you know, how Because even content validation could be subjected to people's opinions on whether or not it's, uh, quote, acceptable even if it uh, could be true, right? So, I mean, how, how much thought have you put into it and why did you arrive at what you have? Uh, yeah, exactly. So, you know, we believe that, you know, truth is value and, and we have to dig out the truth. So there are two levels of, of truth. One is simply whether this, you know, this piece of content is true or false, right? Is, is it fake? The second level is how much is it worth? Uh, is it worth a dollar? Is it worth Three dollars is it? Ten dollars, right? So by going through this community-based voting process, and especially with stakes, and we took some, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, lessons from the futures predictions market, where uh, you know people actually buy futures contracts to predict pr presidential results, and it has turned out to be more accurate uh, than you know polls in a lot of cases. So we are just you know essentially uh, using the uh, the, the wisdom of the crowd to, uh, to validate the content. Now, obviously, what, is it going to be skewed? Uh, we're trying to address this problem. So, for example, one of our competitors, Steemit, 
uh, which has been very, very successful, right? Uh, but as, as we have looked at it, their platform is actually very skewed to a few powerful stakeholders. So that's an issue that we are trying to address. Uh, so we have given a lot of thought to it. Uh, obviously, do we have the answer to you know, all kinds of manipulation? Uh, the answer is not yet, right? But we, uh, we believe this mechanism it will address a lot of those concerns that you just had. 